We do not end under caution, so we'll go around a green, then a white flag, then the checkered. So on lap 201, here goes Kurt Busch, right in front of his killer B teammate, Greg Biffle. Rick Crawford is in third, but right now not close enough to have any effect. This time by will be the white flag. Can Bush pick up his third victory of the year 2000? Or will it be Greg Biffle picking up victory number six? I would think at this point that Biffle would try to anything to try to take the win away because right now he's in, in fabulous position to try to win a championship. As I say, that he closes up right on the tailgate. For Biffle, he is going to finish in the top five for the 15th time in 16 races. For Kurt Busch, he's going to start his first Winston Cup weekend with his third career victory in his rookie season. Crawford third, Andy Houston fourth, Kenny Schrader fifth. And there is a very happy XI fourth crew. We'll talk to the winner when we come back to Victory Lane here at Dover Downs. There are some tense radio conversations as well as his driver has struggled to manage expectations and the reality of them working through the handling in the late laps of these races. Yet they came here to Dover this week. Kurt said, I've been a champ before. We can do this. Now they're two laps away from going to victory lane. They're proving they can do it. They adjusted this car when it wasn't so good in the middle of the race, turned it around, and now it's like he's going to get this victory. One to go. One more mile, buddy. The only driver in the top ten in the championship standings all season long. That man, Kurt Busch. Just the one win on the road course at Sonoma. But steady, solid, after finishing 22nd in New Hampshire a week ago to lose ground in the championship, they're going to gain it all back with a win on the Monster Mile today. Kurt Busch wins at Dover. at the rest of the lead lap finishers but it is Kurt Busch getting the jump on Jimmy Johnson on a late restart hanging on to another restart and pulling away to score the victory his second of this season and the win going to pull Kurt Busch up to fourth in the championship standings only nine points off the leader Kevin Harvick well, I think you hit the nail on the head right there, Alan. It was that restart when he was able to stay side by side with Jimmy Johnson down into one and then powered to the lead off a of turn two that was the key winning moment.